Applied for spousal sponsorship. Learn what's next and how long it takes for processing. In this video, I would like to start by, by saying that each application is different and takes a different amount of time to be processed. Usually spousal sponsorship applications take about 12 months to be processed from start to finish, but they can take longer or sometimes shorter depending on the nature of your case. If you have a complicated case or the immigration officer requires additional documents, this will make the processing time a little bit longer. The best way to ensure your uh, sponsorship application is processed as quickly as possible is to make sure from beginning that your application is complete with every document and response to what Immigration Canada is asking for. Now I would like to talk about the steps you can expect between the time you submit your sponsor sponsorship application and the time you are a Canadian permanent resident and how long each step takes. For step, you will receive a letter of acknowledgement. Two, three months after your application is received by Immigration Canada, they will send you a letter or email indicating that your application has been received. In the letter, you will find your application number. The application number allows you to link your application to your Immigration Canada online account. This way, you can communicate with Immigration Canada and get updates and messages about your application online. So go ahead and link your application to the online account if you wish. This uh, will make it easier for you to check the progress of your application and receive uh, and send information. Immigration Canada will not send an acknowledgement of receipt unless they have opened your application and checked that it is complete. If your application is not complete, let's say there are missing signatures or maybe there are missing documents, then the application is normally uh, returned to you. Um, as you go, go through the process, you may receive requests for additional documents. So don't be surprised if after an acknowledgement of receipt, you receive a request for additional documents. The second step, letter indicating if the sponsor is eligible to sponsor. Immigration Canada will first examine the sponsor's eligibility. The sponsor must be a Canadian citizen or permanent resident. So the first thing the authorities will be doing is checking to ensure that the sponsor meets all the requirements. It generally takes Immigration Canada one to three months to decide. Then the sponsor will get an email or a letter from Immigration Canada indicating if the sponsor is eligible uh, or not to sponsor. If the sponsorship undertaking is approved, they will send uh, the application for permanent residence to the appropriate uh, visa office uh, for processing. If the undertaking is refused, Immigration Canada will explain why in an email or a letter. The third step is checking to ensure that applicant is eligible. Immigration Canada will then decide whether the person being sponsored is eligible for permanent residence. They will look to see, for instance, if the applicant had a criminal conviction or had prior travel with immigration in Canada, or is considered a security risk or has serious health problems, these being aspects that may affect the applicant's eligibility to be sponsored. Hey, I hope you are enjoying this video so far. If you are looking to immigrate to Canada without dealing with complicated and confusing immigration forms and rules, right below this video, you'll find a link to book a call to speak with me or my team so we can tell you how we can make your immigration process less stressful. Now, back to the video. Step number four, the applicant is asked for medical exam and biometrics. Three, four months after the application is received by Immigration Canada, if everything is okay, then 
uh, the applicant will be asked to submit medical exam and the biometrics. Now I will talk a little bit about medical exam. For the medical exam, not only the principal applicant, but also all their family members who are not already Canadian citizens or permanent residents need to pass a medical exam even, even, even if they are not applying to come to Canada. Failure to declare and have family members examined will affect uh, the application and the applicant's ability to sponsor them in the future. So Immigration Canada will send you and each family member a request to complete a medical exam. Now, what if you have already completed an immigration medical exam? Then you must provide details in the medical examination section of your document checklist. Depending on when the exam was done, you may have to do it again if the medical results expire. Now let's talk a little bit about biometrics. For biometrics, there is a fee for each family member. I recommend you include proof that you pay for biometrics with your application. So let's assume uh, your biometrics fee is paid, then at this stage Immigration Canada will send you and each family member a letter asking you to give your biometrics. And by biometrics I'm talking about fingerprints and photos of the person who wants to be a Canadian permanent resident. Is your wife or husband allowed to work while waiting for the spouse's sponsorship application to be approved? Well, in step number five, I will talk about open permits for inland applicants. So step number five, open work permit. If the principal applicant is living in Canada with their sponsor, they can apply for an open work permit along with their spousal sponsorship application. You can either submit your application for an open permit together with your application for permanent residence or after you apply. This open work permit allows you to work anywhere in Canada for any employer while your permanent residency application is in processing. This may help prevent any issues that can arise if an existing uh, visa expires before the spousal uh, process, the spousal sponsorship process is complete. The application for an open work permit is normally processed in four months, but sometimes you can get it, uh, you can get an answer, an answer faster, like in uh, three weeks after you apply, depending on your luck. Step number six, interview. This is not a normal part of the process, but if your application did not provide sufficient evidence that your relationship is genuine, then an interview is needed. Immigration Canada will tell you the time, the date and the location of interview and also will provide you with a list of documents to bring. This usually is for Outland sponsorship applications and only the spouse being sponsored uh, has to attend the interview. Under normal circumstances, an interview request will delay your application by 3-4 months. So I hope you will not get a request for an interview. So please send all the required documents and send a complete application from the beginning so you will not uh, uh, be asked for an interview. And finally, last step, step number seven, it's party time! Confirmation of permanent residence. Once approved, the applicant will receive confirmation of permanent residence. If the officer is satisfied that you met the requirements to enter Canada, you will, allowed, you will be allowed to enter Canada as a permanent resident. Yay! If you are outside Canada, Immigration Canada will send you a confirmation of permanent residency and the permanent uh, resident visa if required. Then you will be able to travel to Canada before these documents expires. If you are inside Canada, 
uh, then uh, you have to meet an immigration officer to receive your confirmation of permanent residence. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, take a moment right now to subscribe right below and turn on the notification button to get notified every time I post a video. Thanks for watching.